Dear second secondary students, it's my pleasure to welcome you all to a new lesson of English which is entitled Revision 3 on Units 7, 8, and 9. Lesson 3, Reading. Read the letters to an online problem page from young people and answer the questions. The first letter, A. I am struggling to understand everything in our math lessons at the moment. I didn't have any problems, but we have been doing far more complicated things for the last few weeks, and I can't keep up. Everyone else in the class seems to understand everything the teacher says, so I feel like I am the one who is finding it difficult. I know that telling my teacher about the problem would help, but there never seems to be enough time to ask questions at the end of the lesson. Because we all have to leave quickly to get to our next class in time. Can you help me? The next one, B. I moved to a new town three months ago and I am finding it hard to make new friends. When I am at school, it seems like everyone already knows each other and nobody is interested in making new friends. I have started swimming in the evening because I hoped to meet other people, but nobody wants to talk to me there either. I used to have lots of friends in the town where I used to live, and I would go to see them almost every day after school. But now I spend most of my time at home. What can I do to make new friends? Now let's answer the questions about these two problems. Which writer, A or B? We are going to read the sentence and say, this is in which writer who said that. Number one, has had their problem for the longest. It will be the writer B. Number two, only has their problem at school. It's writer A. Number three, has done something to try to solve their problem. The writer B. Number four, is feeling lonely because of their problem. The writer B. Number five, has changed what they usually do because of their problem. The writer A. Now reread the problems and write the possible solution for each one. Then write the pros and cons of each key. We have two problems. We are going to write the solutions that they said. Now let's see the problem. The first problem that he is the only one who can't understand math problems in the class. The solution that he mentioned that he can ask the teacher to explain the lesson again for him. Now let's read the pros and cons of this solution. The pros means the advantages. The teacher will help him very well. The cons means disadvantages. There is no time to ask questions because he has to quickly go to the next lesson. Now problem number two. The problem is that he can't make new friends when he moved to a new town. The solution, he went swimming to be able to meet other people. The pros of this solution, that he can meet new people and make new friends. The cons of this solution, that nobody wants to talk to him there. He spent most of his time alone. Now let's answer this question. Translate the following into Arabic. Number one, there didn't used to be much biodiversity in this forest. 
Now the forest is far bigger than it was, and many more species live there. The answer لم يكن هناك فائدة لوجود الكثير من التنوع البيولوجي في هذه الغابة. الآن الغابة أكبر بكثير مما كانت عليه وهناك العديد من الأنواع التي تعيش هناك. Number two, it is thought that most people will have bought an electric car by 2040. At the moment, I am always breathing dirty air, so we hope that the air will be far cleaner in the future. The translation يعتقد أن معظم الناس سوف يشترون سيارات كهربائية بحلول عام 2040 في الوقت الحالي. أتنفس دائما هواء ملوثا، لذلك نأمل أن يكون الهواء أنظف كثيرا في المستقبل. Now we have come to the end of this lesson. Thank you and see you later in the next lesson.